Hey guys, thought I'd come in here today to go over my bug out bag survival bag, food bag, not regular bug out bag, the food bug out bag. Does that make sense? My bug out bag is pretty small. Um, it's not like a big um, fancy hiking pack or, or a big uh, Alice pack or anything like that. It's just a small backpack. It's just a backpacking backpack just for like day trips and things like that. So, you know, it's not real big. So I thought about what I would need to put in there. And I had a bug out bag video, but I'm going to redo it. Um, I want to show you guys a finished product. And I, after I got to messing with it, it was just, it was too heavy to go with the sleep system that I have because that weighs another five or 10 pounds, however much. So I figured it was going to be way too heavy with food and all that other stuff in that one bag. So I rearranged it. I took everything out. And I only put stuff back in there that I figured was bare bones necessity. Um, like I did put a hammock, and that's not a necessity, but in the desert where they have lots of spiders, snakes, and scorpions, I f kind of figured it was. And if I can find two trees, uh, which you can find trees out here, there's just not very many of them, uh, but like a good Palo Verde tree or mesquite tree or something like that, I might be able to hang that from them. And if worse come to worse, I could use it as a shelter. I could put it over the top of me, I could put it underneath me, and fold it up over, whatever. So I put my, uh, I have a hammock that I put in there. I stuffed it all in this little stuff sack, and it's about that big. Uh, it's a little travel hammock. I showed it to you in that other video. But when I redo the bug out bag, I'll pull it out and you'll see it all packed up. Last time, it was just loose. So let's get into the bug out food bag. Uh, we'll go on the outside compartments first. This one here has got a light because... This thing's going to be hanging in the front of me, okay? This bag will be hanging from the front like this, okay? Of course, it'll be down farther. It's sitting on the table, but it'll be down farther um, because uh, then my other backpack will go over and it, the straps on it will go here and then the waist, wait, the waist strap. This thing here won't get in the waist strap, but the front of the bug out bag will be here. So I figured it would be a good idea to have a light handy in case it was getting dark and I hadn't found camp yet or whatever the case may be. I figured a light would be good and ha good to have handy. And then in this side, I've got a Sawyer Mini because I have a couple of them. Um, Sawyer Mini. And I figured that would be a good thing. If I did run across some water, I could filter some if I needed it. And in the front, I have some snacks. Um, easy to, easy to, while you're traveling going. Easy to eat that way. I've got two Cliff Bars. I've got uh, a couple of these items came out of some MREs. I've got a thing of peanut butter and mixed berry energy gel. Both of these came out of an MRE. And then I have just a spoon, napkin, uh, a little, just a little uh, to-go food uh, cutlery pack, I guess you'd call it. You get it when you get, you know, different things they give to you. And that's what's in the front compartment. I had it all easy to reach stuff as well. Now, I'll take this off. In the top of this thing, there's going to be a couple of things that are sitting right here that's not in there yet. Now, I have two cans of Spam. One's regular and one's black pepper. They have different flavors now, and they're not bad. They got hickory, and they got jalapeno, uh, regular, uh, black pepper. There's several different flavors. And then a bag, a uh, uh, bag, a can of chunk chicken breast. It's just like a can of tuna, only a little thicker. Uh, so a person could put this with something else and make a big meal. Or you could eat it plain if you wanted. But. And on the top of this are my spices. I've got some minced onion and some garlic powder. Um, I'm going to put, I haven't gone to the store yet, and that's going in there, is a little, there's a little, those little picnic salt and pepper shakers. You know, they're like wrapped together in the, where, they, where you buy camping stuff. And that's going in there as well because I don't want to take a glass one. First, first of all, glass weighs more. Second of all, it could break. And uh, so I'm just going to get one of those, those, those uh, disposable salt and pepper shakers. They're about yay tall. Now this is malto meal. This, is, this whole thing is full of malto meal. When it's done, I can use it for water. Um, have a, another container which is why I put the water filter in over there this is like cream of wheat 
there's enough in here for probably 10 meals because this stuff really expands. A couple of tablespoons of this and you're good to go. I mean, it'll give you a bowl full, maybe three tablespoons. So that, you know, this thing's filled up right now. Can you imagine how many tablespoons that is? I didn't count it and I'm not gonna. Uh, but this is Malta meal and when I'm done, I've got a stainless steel water, water uh, can. Now, this I pulled out of my bug out bag that you had sized and saw before I'd had it in the coffee pot. Uh, the oh, it's a coffee pot, yeah, but it's also a bush pot. Anyway, this is all full of bullion. This is nothing but bullion. Okay, this is uh, I've got chicken, I've got tomato and beef in here. Bullion, it's full with a little ranger band around it to keep it from opening up and getting it everywhere. Now, this one here is fairly waterproof container, it's not waterproof but it's pretty waterproof. Uh, you'd have to be completely submerged for water to get in there and then it would take it a little bit because this, it's a tight fit. Now in here, I also have my survival seats. Okay, I bought these off of Amazon. And if you guys wanna pause it to see what's in there, I'll leave it up for a second. Okay, now I am going to order another one of those to put in my bug out bag because you just don't know if what if something happens to one of the bags and then you've lost all your seeds. Now these seeds are going to be necessary in an SHTF situation because you're going to have to eat. You can only carry so much food. You can only store so much food. You have to be able to grow food, okay? Uh, because the deer are going to run out, um, the squirrels, the rabbits, stuff, they're all going to get pretty well wiped out. Um, so finding meat is going to be an issue further into an SHTF situation. Now when you first start, yeah, you'll find stuff. But as it goes, so will the meat sources. So you're going to have to be able to grow some food. So you put your survival seeds in with your food bag. You also put one in your bug out bag. And I'm going to redo that because I took it apart uh, if I didn't already tell you. Now, my food stuffs are put in these Ziploc baggies for a couple of reasons. One, to keep them water tight okay I don't want them getting wet in case what if I get rained on so I don't want them getting wet so I put them in this and then secondly I can use the bag for other things like I can make a container out of it I can put wild edibles in it I could uh, mix stuff in it and use it as a bowl uh, it, there's a lot of things I could do with this so that's why I have that now in here I've got three different types of gravy I've got brown gravy cream gravy and then I've also got uh, this stuff here is that right side up? Yeah. Is this for fried rice? Uh, it's, it, I bought it at the seasoning thing just so that I could be able to, if I wanted to have some rice, I could put it in there. I could fry it up. Okay. And if you know you add some spam to it or some chicken, um, it's a pretty good meal, actually. If you get any wild edibles at all, you've got a complete meal. Okay. So there's that. I have a whole jar of peanut butter. This is kind of heavy. And so is the Spam and the Chicken. Those are kind of heavy too. But this bag will be getting lighter as I go, not heavier. This bag will get, be getting a lot lighter because as I eat the food, of course, there you go. Now, this, this peanut butter, this has got, oh, it says, it says 16 servings, about two tablespoons each, and calories are 200. Um, so that leaves, that's 16, that's 3,200 calories in this jar. That's... Pretty much almost two days worth of calories uh, in just one little jar. And I like peanut butter too, so that makes a difference as well. But this has got some protein in it. It's got a lot of fat in it. Stuff your body's going to be burning when you're hiking and bugging out. Now this container can be used after this is empty. You can find some place to clean it out. Um, can be used to store whatever it is that you're going to store, whether you come across some ironwood tree and it's full of beans and you put them in there, mesquite beans, um, whatever. Just, you know, a container's a container. Containers are going to be important. Okay? Stop tasting the wine. Yum. Okay. The next is... The next is... I've got some boiling bag rice. Here, come here, Gizzy. Maybe they can see you. Can they see you? Come up here. Come up here. This is Gizzy. It's a Gizzy. That's my girl. Yeah, that's Mama's baby. She's such a sweetie. 
Okay, okay. Oh, I love you. Get out. Get out. That's my doom dog. Gizzy is such a sweetheart. She's a Queensland healer. She just didn't merle out. Most of them either are red or, or blue merle. She didn't merle out. She said, I don't merle out. Most of them either red or, or blue merle. She didn't merle out. She stayed white. Her sister's blue, but she's not. Anyway, back to where we were at. This is boiling bag rice. There's four bags in here. Okay. And I put the instructions on how to cook it. I just cut them off the box and put them in here with it. Um, not that I really need instructions on how to cook rice, but it's already kind of portioned up so that I don't have to measure it or anything of that nature. I just grab a bag, plop it down in there, cook it. But you have to be careful. Unless you have plenty of water, you're going to want to measure uh, if, if you don't have, if, you, if you're running short on water, you're going to want to measure your rice because regular long grain rice, now this is more like an instant rice, but regular long grain rice, yeah, this is instant rice, regular long, long grain rice um, takes uh, almost a one on, just a hair over a one on one ratio of water to rice. So if you get, well, three to one, excuse me. Um, if you do one cup of rice, you need to do you know, three to three and a half cups of water. And then you cook it all together and then the water is all absorbed. With this, you'd have to put it in a pot of water and then pull the bag out. And there'd be a lot of leftover water down in there. So you may not want to do it that way if you're running short on water, to make a long story short. But I could if I wanted. Now this is the muffin mixes. These, these muffin mixes. I've got a blueberry and a banana nut. Um, these are strictly for snack, you know, because I have a sweet tooth and I'm going to need sugar to make the trip. That's why I have the berry energy gel in there because I know me, I'm going to get tired pretty quickly. I'm going to need some fuel to burn in my body. So, and then not to mention they taste good. So nobody says you have to live on rice and beans if you're bugging out. Well, you know what? I don't have a bunch of beans right now. So I took some rice and I'll take some other stuff. This right here, you just mix it with water. Uh, you can mix up just enough. You don't have to use the whole thing. You can mix up just enough to make a couple of little, like, hoe cakes almost. Um, which I'm probably going to have some cornmeal to put in there. Um, but you just make it, put them in a little pan and just fry them up. Um, really good. You can even put them in a cup inside of a container like a uh, bush pot and bake it. Uh, it depends on what you want to do. That's another video though. Uh, but make a good little high carbohydrate meal because I'm gonna I'm, I'm looking at high carbohydrates if I'm bugging out and yeah I've got a little bit of you know extra storage here food storage right um, but if you're bugging out and you're, you're expending a ton of energy you need some high carbohydrates in order to maintain that energy now the last thing here this is packages of oatmeal there's about 14 packages in here uh, it's different flavors you know, like one's peaches and cream, and there's brown sugar and cinnamon, and there's different ones. And you just mix them with water. It's instant oatmeal. Uh, and, and, you know, it takes at least two to make enough of a bowl to make you full enough to go. One of these packages, unless you eat like a little bird, isn't going to do it. So I, I made a week's worth of this. I put 14 of them in here. So I have a week's worth of hearty oatmeal breakfast. Okay. And then the rest of this in here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight packages of ramen noodles. This, this is my dinner or my lunch, depending on if I want to stop. The thing is, it depends on where you are as to whether or not you're going to want to stop. Because if you're in a bad area, who wants to stop and make a fire and cook up your food, etc., etc.? Okay, which is part of the reason why this is handy. You can eat this right out of a can if you wanted to. Uh, tastes way better fried. Trust me. Spam tastes pretty good if you fry it, but. Not so much raw. Oh, it's not really raw, but it's not so much straight out of the can. It tastes way better when it's cooked. Okay. And so all this just goes back in there. This fits on the front, like I said, so that I can get to the light and the and the everything easily. I don't want to be able to. Uh, I don't want to have to uh, fight with getting hold of stuff that you need right now. Oops, sorry, put this in here. You need at least one of these per bag that you have. Because if something happens and I couldn't grab this bag for some reason, whatever the reason, and I had no time to grab this bag and I just grabbed the other bag and I got away, I would have nothing to be able to grow with because I wouldn't have any seeds. Same the other way around. What if I couldn't grab that bag and this was the only bag I could grab? 
then this is the bag that he would have to see. So you just put one in each one. They're really not that expensive. They're packed in mylar, so they're, they're very well protected. And all this goes in. Just have to stack it. None of my bags are very big. Okay, I don't have one of those great big Alice packs or, or one of those uh, big expensive, you know, bug out bags with all the Molly attachments or tactical this or mil spec that. I don't have any of that. This is just a little cheap backpack. This thing's not going to last very long. Okay, this thing's going to wear out and rip up pretty quick. But it only has to last about three days before this thing's light enough where it's not going to be an issue. Okay, because this thing will get lighter as it goes. And of course, if it gets lighter before these start ripping out, then uh, I don't have to worry about it. It'll last a long time. Then. But until then, it's the way it is. So I would like everybody to, if they like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Uh, subscribe. Tell all your friends. I need all the help I can get. Um, I'm going to be redoing my bug out bag uh, video because I took everything out and redid it. It's a whole long story. Uh, I don't know if I told you or not because I did this video once and then I'm I got all the way done and it hadn't recorded anything. I'm not a videographer, okay? I'm just me. Just plain me. Nothing special, nothing fancy, just me. But I did get one of those tripods with the little bendable legs. And that's what's holding it now, so I don't have to worry about using the little church key with a book holding it down. <laughs> I was doing over there. Oh my God, that thing was pretty yoky. Um, so... Yeah, I've got an actual tripod now that holds my cell phone so I can take a video. So, anyway, I want you guys to have a great day, and y'all come back and see me, okay?